Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Tables Tutorials. So this week we have prepared a demonstration of how you can customize your tables. For those of you who just want to select a prepared theme or a skin and uh, have a nicer design that way, or even for those of you who want to go into more detail and customize cells, rows, borders, fonts, uh, every little detail for your tables. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay. Um, all right, so this is the feature, the new customize option, which is available for all table types except for uh, simple tables because you can um, customize them cell by cell. So basically here you can choose the interface language, which applies to the interface itself, not the table. Um, so if you choose your language here, unless that language exists in the language folder of WP data tables, this is not going to be changed, only the interface is going to change. Uh, here we can change the skin. Currently it, it is on light, but when we change it to aqua, we can see the table is, uh, the table's skin is changed. So this applies only to this table. Uh, font can be changed to be, let's say, Tahoma, font size 20, font color. Let's see, set it to be bright blue and save. Here's the font color. Now this doesn't look very well in the header. So in the header section, you can change the background color. Let's just select something so this disappears. So the background color can be um, this. And let's save to see how it looks. Okay, a lot better now, but we can see uh, borders in here. So you can apply different borders for the header, different font color for the header. So if you want to leave the initial background color, you can simply change the, uh, the color of the font and you can change the active and hover color of the header itself. So when we save this, we can see that the borders of the header are changed to this. The font color is changed to this. And when we hover over a header, we can see this. Now, in order to show you uh, borders, let's just remove clear the borders of the header and save. So now in table border, we can remove borders in the table altogether and remove them in the header. So table displays without any borders. Um, also, you can change the outer border of the table. So it's, let's say black. And it applies to the outer border of the table. So not the header. The header is configured here and the inner border can be set to this. Now this skin doesn't have vertical borders. So that's not applied. In the row color, you can change the background color of the even rows, odd rows, hover of the row and background for selected rows. So for example, odd rows will be set to this color and let's say this color and when we hover over it let's say it stays white and the background of selected rows can be let's say this so when we save the changes we can see that these colors apply so odd rows are blue even rows are green when we hover over them they are white and when you click on a row they are darker than this color in here uh, the cell color applies to even rows and odd rows when you sort per a column. So, for example, when we select this for even rows and when we save the changes, if we sort per this column, the even row will change its color to um, dark red. And we can set this color for odd rows. So when we save it and sort, we will see this. Um, pagination is something that you can also change now. So let's just enable it. Page, pagination is also is actually enabled, but we need uh, multiple pages. So let's set the default rows per page to be one. Now we have three pages since we have one row on a page. So back to customize section, we can change the background color of the pagination section so it looks like this so then you can change the color within 
those numbers within pagination. So it looks like this. The current page background color, which shows you which page you're on, can be set to, let's say, yellow. Basically, you can play around with this as much as you'd like. Um, you can change the color of the font within the selected page, so it's different than the others. Um, other pages hover background is when you hover over the page that you haven't selected yet. So, for example, page two is in dark, bright green, and then other pages hover color. Let's set it to be white. And this is the, as you can see, it's the numbers are visible now since we set the color of the font to white. And finally, we have custom CSS. This is CSS that applies only to this table. So if you need to add some custom CSS, which applies only to a certain table, you would add it here instead of the settings tab, custom JS and CSS. So custom CSS, which applies to all tables, goes in here under settings, custom JS and CSS, and custom CSS under customize section within a table applies only to this table and it will be applied on the front end as well. Great, thank you Salah so You're much. Welcome. And thank you guys for watching. I wanted to mention for you guys to stay tuned because we will re release even more skins and themes to keep your tables with uh, design standards and keep them modern and fresh and light. So uh, stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions about customize or anything else concerning Wepedata tables, please leave them down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.